Hello everybody and welcome back to new Riador. I'm here at the farm because I want to talk of course a little bit about the upcoming event, the new Riador Summer Day. So I'm looking really forward to that event because we will be able to play with you guys here at the farm. We'll have a day of streams coming up. The schedule is of course on the website on neorea.com slash quiz as well as the quiz. If you haven't seen the video of yesterday, that's where we explained a little bit about how the event is going to happen. But let me quickly explain this one more time. We'll play here the whole day on uh, New Rear Door with you guys. There will be always 1.5 hour slots uh, where we stream. So always somebody else is streaming. And I think I will have my stream uh, after lunch time for me. So uh, that's going to be super cool. We're going to build something here or do some digging and we don't want to play on our own. We want to play with some people from the community. So that's why we have set up the quiz. We want to find the biggest fans of the server that watch all the videos of all the channels. And so uh, the quiz should be uh, doable for those people that watch all those videos. Um, and uh, then we will invite a few of those to play with us that are doing really good there. Let me actually check how many villagers we've got here to fill up the farm. I don't know if this is already done or if it isn't. I think this one is done. Um, yeah, this one is done. I don't know why there's stone, but this one is done. And then we also uh, get some people from the streams to play with us here on the server. And I think that that's going to be a super cool day. I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, if we have some people that join us here, we need some materials because they can't dig with their hands. So what we need to get are a bunch of mending and efficiency five pickaxes. And the easiest way to get those, I think, is something Rika is doing. And so we will go over to Rika in just a moment. Uh, because she has got um, her monument where we want to find out how we can easily get some pickaxes uh, that we then can combine with uh, efficiency 4 and mending. So I think let's head over there. Here's the tunnel to Rika's monument and as you can see over here already it is called Rika's villager center and now you can maybe imagine how we will get to those pickaxes. It's not a guardian farm. That's also why this tunnel is not done yet because uh, she needs a bunch of those guardian blocks to finish this tunnel and she won't get it from the uh, monument because there is no farm. There's all the water still around and so not a lot of guardians are spawning inside. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, and if you think that my uh, voice sounds a little bit funny, that is because uh, it's pretty early in the morning. Oh, here we can see the tunnel. And we are ha having a, a little bit of a housewarming party yesterday. Um, and we were watching soccer and uh, that... Whoa! Gast, 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 gast! I don't have arrows. I'm a little bit screwed. Oh my god. Sprint over. Hope they don't see me. Uh, we're having a housewarming party and watching the soccer match Germany versus Italy in the European Championship. Uh, if you're from Italy, I'm really sorry about the result for you. Well, actually, I, I'm not. I think that Germany well deserved that victory. And uh, it was a really, really cool match. It, it lasted quite some time and I got up pretty early to record this video. So that is why my voice might sound a little bit funny. So here we are at the monument and uh, maybe Rika can give us a little bit of a tour. Of course. So as you can see, the water is all gone from the monument. I'm not too sure what we showed you yet. We were here before when we were raiding this thing. And I think this is already the first part. What is this for? This is kind of my guardian farm. I set up a little farm so I can get kind of some block at least, but it isn't working very well with the water around. So yeah, uh, it's still a lot to do. I think we'll have a look at that in a little bit because we'll get to down there at some point. But as you can see, there are staircases now all around so we can get around a little bit of cactus farm. It's temporary. And then let's see what we've got on this side. On this level, on the second level, there isn't much done. 
because I want to put the librarians there. Here, yes, these guys they need to be still need to be sorted. Here on this level, when you turn left, you will find the clerics. But I don't think yeah, I think I killed most of them because I'm waiting for the perfect ones. Yeah, uh, Rick is pretty cool, as you can see. Uh, best price is good. Ingots lapis lazuli. Let's check. He isn't very good. <laughs> But I, I, I really it. like this part here with the windows, it, it looks really cool. Some inspiration for you guys, maybe. What you can do with a monument. And then... Oh, there's another guy. He's a bit better because he's having best prices for enderpoles. Alright, and then through the window we can see this guy again. I really like the windows in here. Should they stay on this level or should I go down? Uh, you can go down. On this level there isn't much more, just a few chests. Ooh. Yes, yeah, there are a few librarians. Now we are talking. So what do we need from these librarians for... Maybe I'm breaking three. That will take us some time. Oh, I'm breaking two. That's already good. I think I have one with, unbre with an unbreaking three book. Alright. Uh, we'll find him in a bit. So here, here we have a nice two few two smithers. Okay, two smithers are good for... Diamond pickaxes. These ones. Oh, this is already is efficiency this? 2, unbreaking 2. So if we just have an unbreaking 2 book, we can make it unbreaking 3 easily. We could also buy two of these and combine them to efficiency 3 and unbreaking 3. That's also true. But we still need an unbreaking 5 book then. Do you have an unbreaking 5 with still? Not yet, but... And you mean efficiency 5. Oh yeah, efficiency 5, of course. But I also got a villager with diamond pick access for 12 emeralds, which oh. is the best price. That's cool. And then we can combine two and just enchant them. That's also a possibility. Uh, what about efficiency four? Not yet. Not yet. So efficiency Maybe is Maybe in the, a book, but not in a book. Yeah, this is the, the thing we need to work on. And yeah, aqua affinity. Let's check. Fire protection. So lots of book traits here. Uh, would be cool if those were labeled. But I think that's plans for later, right? Yes. But all those villagers everywhere, look at this, wow, armorer. So in theory we could get some armor parts from these guys. Yes. I guess I would go with the chestplate armor. Uh, not chestplate, you know, chain. Oh, with chain. chain that might be cool, yeah. So yeah, this is this part and then... Is there anything else down here? Uh, yes, if you go... This way? Along, yes. We have, now here we have the fletchers. Oh. And then on the other side, no, there Over here? the flet fletchers. Here we have the carrot and potato farm. Oh, you got a carrot potato farm already? Yes. We'll check that out in a second. And left now? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. That's, a, that's the Fisherman. point. Fisherman. Uh, I got turned around completely. I yes. think I walked in a circle. Yes, you did. Please All walk right. back and now up the staircase. Okay. There's still the whales that I need to transport the villagers. Here we have the farmers. Alright. But the best price at the moment is just for wheat. Okay, so wheat is the best price 18? Yes. And potatoes it's... It would be 15. 15, okay. The question is though, how much uh, wheat do you get out of one seed? Do you get more than just one? And potatoes, I think that potatoes and carrots are in general better for trading. That's why I put up a carrot and potato farm and not a Oh, farm. here we can see it. Um, is there a way down? Uh, if you have an animal. Um, nope, not on okay. me. Okay, do you have silk touch? I think so, yep. Okay, uh, turn around and the glass pane, yes, this one, and you can also... Ah, okay. I see. Aww. It always happens. <laughs> So here we can see this is a uh, farm where those farmers toss the potatoes to that villager and then they land down there in a water stream, I guess. Yes, it's a design of your new bit. Then gets transferred over to somewhere behind here, I think, and then goes upstairs to the chest. No, the chest is just on the other side here. Oh, okay. I got turned around. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> and over here we can also see those big windows, which are really cool because you can see all those things in the water, but there's not a lot of those guys. Well, at the moment, probably all maps are Deadcrafts. Yeah, that might be true. Deadcraft is online too. Oh, hey. Oh, what is this there? Uh, this is my bullet, bullet reader. <laughs> is there a way over there? 
Yes. All right, let's find out. Um, lots of things to to explore here. Okay, fixed this way. Uh, well, this way you would go up again. How do I get to over there? Go back to the staircase that was bringing up. This one. And this one. Then turn right and left. And here we have the villager beer. Pretty cool. How's this working? Well, I have a villager builder up on top of the monument. Uh, the village. I guess I can go there, can't I? Yes. So I think this staircase. I'm getting better at this. Uh, this over there. staircase. And then this, this one. And then Going up. up here. I guess at some point this will go again. Whoa. Stop hitting me. Okay, so whose design is this? Let's quickly... I think it's also the design of Unihilbert. So, villager breeder and um, the uh, yeah, carrot and potato farm of Unihilbert. And then over here, the villagers will breed and um, fall down to the water stream and then fall down so they can get sorted down there. And you've got quite a bit of villagers there. Yes. I guess I need to turn the village off again. So, did we see everything? Do you think, I think so? so? Yes, you didn't show the monument killing machine. Oh yeah, let's uh, uh, have a look at the guardian killing and then we get into trading. So, the easiest way to get there now is going down here maybe. I don't know if that was a good idea, but there's the door. So, uh, they will fall down and then they will get into this water stream down there and then there's a cactus at the end, so they just get killed by the cactus. And I think I'm a little bit trapped. Yeah. And then down here is there the, yes, where that's the chest. There's where the chest yeah. is. No! Don't get in there. Alright, uh, so here you can see this is working and now I You're think I, I need to get out of here quickly.
So as you saw there in the montage, I spent quite a lot of emeralds on getting those tools and mending books. And as you can see here, we got already quite a bunch of stuff. So here are the pickaxes that are combined out of the crappy ones from the villager. And down here, I've got all the mending books. It is 13, I think, in total, plus this pickaxe that already has mending on it, um, which is pretty cool. I think I've got that out of the end. And then I brought some Efficiency 4 books already and some Unbreaking books. I don't want to get them through trading. I brought some books over and some Lapis. So uh, what I want to do is uh, take those pickaxes, take a look what they got. This one is now Fortune. I'm not too sure if I want Fortune. So instead I would do uh, this trade, even though it's Bane of Arthropods. And then I can check again, unbreaking. Uh, I don't think I want to do that either. So I would do this, getting smite and like this, efficiency three, nope, don't want that. I should be able to get efficiency four on those. So here we go, now we've got efficiency four. And now I could take one of the books, but I would do that later because I've still got quite a bunch of levels and put efficiency four and mending on it. And then it's an efficiency five mending pickaxe. So I think this is the easiest way of getting those. So let me do that for a little bit with um, getting some levels and then keeping enchanting. And uh, I will bring you in uh, once I am tired of doing this or I am done. So this is the status. We've got efficiency four on all of those pickaxes now, and it's time to get them to efficiency five. And if they need it, also unbreaking. The problem is though that I only have those five efficiency four books. So I will have to enchant some more books. I put all the crappy ones into here and combine the efficiency three books. So I get efficiency five on all of those pickaxes and can add mending to it, which will cost me another hour or two, I think. So let me get to work on that. With the help of Skid and Riki here, I got all the books together. Riki traded a few books with her villagers, so we got some unbreaking books uh, that were missing and Skid was bringing over some Efficiency 4 books. And now, as you can see in here, we've got all Mending Efficiency 5 pickaxes, which is crazy, I think, having 16 of those laying around here in the chest. I labeled them so we can easily see who got which pickaxe of those later when we are digging with those. But maybe we can get more, maybe somebody of the server can get even more than 16. 16 is now the score that I set. I will look forward to see how many pickaxes somebody else could get. But this is already quite a few and uh, I think that will help us quite a lot with the digging process. But I think that uh, that's it for today's episode. It's time to wrap things up. So I hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.